Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh, my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me. I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Maybe if I wasn't going commando. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's hot with all this stuff on. I, uh, I better not do any, I don't know, lunges. Okay, okay. Hi, this is Richard. Please leave a message at the tone. You have two new messages. Wow, what a cool job. You have two new messages. <laughs> Please pass the pie. Hi, it's Monica. I'm just checking in because I got this message from you and I didn't know if it was old or new or what, so I'm just checking. So let me know. Or no, whatever. I'm breezy. You, hey, you can't say you're breezy. That, that totally negates the breezy. Hola, it's me. Yesterday was really fun. Call me about this weekend, okay? Now, she sounded breezy. Has she slept at all? No. Nope. No, it's been three nights in a row. Yeah, she finally stopped crying yesterday, but then she found one of Richard's cigar butts out on the terrace. Oh. And, uh... Okay, that explains it. I got a call at two in the morning, and all I could hear was like this high squeaky sound. So I thought, oh, okay, so it's like a mouse or a possum. <laughs> then I realized, like, okay, where would a mouse or a possum get the money to make the phone call? <laughs> I was wondering, mm. do you still have that um, navy uniform? No, I had to return it to the costume place. Mm. I think I have an old band uniform from high school. You remember not having sex in high school, right? Yeah. Well, honey, what about you? I what? Mean, Fun, you know, fantasy type things? No. Come on, you gotta have one. Nope. Ross, you know what? What? If you tell me, I might do it. <clears throat> okay. Um. Did you ever see um, Return of the Jedi? Yeah. Do you remember the scene with um, Jabba the Hutt? Well, Jabba had as, as his prisoner um, Princess Leia. Princess Leia was wearing this um, gold bikini thing. It was pretty cool. Okay, so by melting, you meant melting. Yeah. So is it like art? Yeah, you can melt art. Hey, can I use your phone? Mm. Yeah, sure. What, you want to call your mom? No, I want to melt it. Oh, well, um, not right now. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm just going to go to bed. I think the fumes are giving me a headache. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good night, bro. Good night. Just in case. Oh, excellent. <laughs> the 
taken. A coffee to go, please. <laughs> it's another ghost. Are you serious? Oh my god. Damn, I cannot believe I took her off my list. Why? Because otherwise you'd go for it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, you lie. Oh, you don't think I'd go up to her? Ross, it took you ten years to finally admit you liked me. Yeah, well, Missy, you better be glad that list is laminated. Yeah. You know what, honey? You go ahead. We'll call her an alternate. Okay. Hold my crawler. Okay. Preach. Are you really gonna let him do this? Honey, he's about to go hit on Isabella Rossellini. I'm just sorry we don't got popcorn. Hi. Hi. I'm Ross. Um, you don't know me, but I'm I'm a big, big fan of yours. Uh, I mean, um, uh, Blue Velvet. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if I could maybe buy you a um, cup of coffee. Or reimburse you for that one. <laughs> Aren't you with that girl over there? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. Um, but that's okay. See, we have an understanding. Um, see, we each have this list of uh, five famous people. And you were one of mine. So I'm allowed to sleep with you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's flattering. Oh. I don't no, know. What, what, wait, wait, Isabella. <laughs> don't, don't just dismiss this so fast. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, for you. <laughs> is that the list? Um, yes. Can I see it? Um, no. Come on. But, okay. I'm not in the list. Um, see, but that's not the final draft. It's laminated. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, so you were you were on my list, but then my friend Chandler <laughs> brought up the very good point that you are international, so I bumped you for Winona Ryder, local. You know, it's ironic mm. because I have a list of five goofy coffee house guys, mm. and yesterday I just bumped you for that guy over there. The We're just going to be friends. <laughs> there it is. Oh, oh, that's what you're talking about. Oh. <coughs> hey. Hey. Do I look fat? No. no. Okay, I accept that. When Janice asked me and I said no, she took that to mean that I was calling her a cow. Okay, walk us through it, honey. Walk us through it. Okay, well, Janice said, uh, hi, do I look fat today? And I, I looked at her. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa. You looked at her? <laughs> you never look. Mm. You just answer. It's like a reflex. Do I look fat? No. <laughs> Is she prettier than I am? No. The size matter? No. And it works both ways. <laughs> okay, so you both just know this stuff? You know, after about 30 or 40 fights, you kind of catch on. <laughs> okay. For instance, <clears throat> let's say Janice is coming back from a trip, and she gives you two options. Option number one, she'll take a cab home from the airport, or option number two, you can meet her at baggage claim. What do you do? That's easy, baggage claim. Eh, wrong. Now you're single. <laughs> it's actually secret option number three. You meet her at the gate. That way she knows you love her. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is good, this is good. All right, listen, I have one. Janice likes to cuddle at night, mm. which, you know, I'm all for. But, uh, you know, when you want to go to sleep, you want some space. So, uh, you know, how do I tell her that without, you know, accidentally calling her fat or something? <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm sorry. We can't help you there because we're cuddly sleepers. Mm. Okay, I'm late for work. Oh. All right, are you guys going to come down? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm right behind you. Okay, good luck, Chandler. Thank you, Rachel. Bye, sweetie. Bye, honey. Okay, the sleeping thing. 
very tricky business, but there is something you can do. I thought you guys were cuddly sleeping. No. <laughs> no, not cuddly, not me, just her. I'm like you. I need the room. <clears throat> okay, come here. <clears throat> okay. You're in bed. Yeah. I'm going to use the cushion. Yeah. Okay, you're in bed. She's over on your side, cuddling. Now, you wait for her to drift off, and then you hug her and roll her over to her side of the bed. And then you roll away. Hug for her. Roll for you. <laughs> okay, the old hug and roll. Yep. Okay, one question. Shoot. You're pretending the pillow's a girl, right? <laughs> What's up? Maybe you can tell me. My agent would like to know why I didn't show up at the audition I didn't know I had today. The first good thing she gets me in weeks. How could you not give me the message? Uh, I'll tell you, I do enjoy guilt. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't me. Yes, it was. It was him. Uh-huh. <laughs> me how was it you well it was just it was all so crazy you know i mean chandler was in the closet counting to 10 and he was up to seven and i hadn't found a place to hide yet <laughs> I, I, I meant to tell you and i wrote it all down on my hand see all of it yep that's my audition yeah. see now this is why i keep notepads everywhere yep and that's why we don't invite you to play <laughs> What is the great tragedy here? You, you go get yourself another appointment. Well, Estelle tried, you know. The casting director told her I missed my chance. Well, that is unfair. I'll call her. I'll tell her it was totally my fault. See, she can't do that. The casting director doesn't talk to friends. She only talks to agents. What a sad little life she must lead. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, I know, I know. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, this is Caitlin from Phoebe Buffet's office. Um, is, um, Anne there for Phoebe? She'll know what it's about. Hang on, hang on. Annie, hot. Listen, we've got a problem with Joey Tribbiani. Apparently he missed his audition. Who did you speak to in my office? Estelle? No, I don't know what I'm going to do with her. No, all right, so your husband leaves you and then burns down the apartment. The world does not stop. <laughs> Is anybody else scared? Right. Well, look, if Joey loses this audition, then that is it for Estelle. I don't care. Annie, you are a doll. What time can you see him? I need a bad, bad Get the woman a pad. Get the woman a pad. A pad. Oh, now you want a pad. Hi again. Hey. Thank you so much. Oh, don't thank me. Thank the jerk that never showed up. Okay, I gotta get to work. You want some help with that? No, oh, no thanks. I got it. Oh, no, I don't. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Whew. Stood up too fast. Got a little head rush. <laughs> the heat. <clears throat> and, and the humidity. <laughs> That's a, uh, that's a tough combination. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in for some lemonade? Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> oh. Wow. This is a great place. Oh, thank you. Just make yourself comfortable. Gotcha. <laughs> this place is really my grandmother's. <laughs> I got it from her when she moved to Florida. Otherwise, I could never afford a place like this. <laughs> so, if the landlord ever asks, I'm an 87 year old woman who's afraid of her VCR. <laughs> you thirsty? Oh, you bet I am. <laughs> okay, here's your penis. You 
said, you want to come in for some lemonade? So? Yeah. Ah. Were you just going to give me lemonade? Yeah! -ha! Cover yourself up! Oh, right. Sorry. I don't believe this. I mean, someone asked you in for lemonade, and to you that means they want to have sex? Um, usually, yeah. Well, not just lemonade. Iced tea, sometimes juice. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought you liked me. Such a jerk. It's okay. I suppose it could happen to anyone. Not anyone I know, but... <laughs> By the way, I can still see it. Here you go, Phoebes. Who else wants one of my special homemade brownies? Uh, I will have one. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, I'm no, not going to okay. have one of those. <laughs> no, no, it's just my tooth. Oh, I'll have one. <laughs> so what's the matter? You need a dentist? I've got a good one. Oh, thanks, I have a good one, too. I just, I, I, I can't see him. See, that is the problem with invisible dentists. <laughs> Why? Why can't you go to them? Because every time I go to the dentist, somebody dies. That is so weird, because every time I go to the dentist, I look down the hygienist's blouse. Phoebe, what? Um, what? Yeah, yeah. First it was my Aunt Mary, and then there was um, John, my mailman, and then my, my cowboy friend, Albino Bob. <laughs> and all of these people actually died? Yes, while I was in the chair. That's why I take such good care of my teeth now, you know? It's not about oral hygiene. I floss to save lives. Babes, come on. You didn't kill anybody. These people just happened to die when you went to the dentist. It's, it's just a coincidence. Well, tell that to them. Oh, you can't. They're dead. Hi. Was teaching last night oh it was great yeah you get to say stuff like hey the bell doesn't dismiss you i dismiss you oh, nice. yeah. oh and guess what i got an audition for all my children oh yay yeah it's this great part this boxer named nick and i'm so so right for it you know he's just like me except that he's a boxer and and has an evil twin <laughs> Dum da da dum. Hey ye, hey ye. Delivery from the mattress key. <laughs> you, Miss Geller? Okay. Signed here. Ooh. Do I have a middle name? <laughs> All right. Monica Falula <laughs> Geller. Okay, it's that bedroom there. Hi. <laughs> Hey, Monica bought a bed from the Mattress King? Yeah. So please, please, please don't say anything to Chandler. You want me to lie to Chandler? Is that a problem? No. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Nick the Boxer. Let's see what you got. Yeah. All right, yeah, put him up. Come on. Hey, you're, uh, you're pretty good at this. Yeah, well, I had to learn. I was staying at the Y, and some of the young men weren't acting Christian enough. Uh. <laughs> hey, now. And I'm bleeding. Oh, oh. Okay, great. Wow, and I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> all right, all right, well, I'm sorry, we'll put some ice on it. Okay. Put your head back. All right. Oh. I can't see. All right, I can have you. Oh, God. Which bedroom do you want it in, Miss Geller? Oh, it's, um, it's the compulsively neat one by the window, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Hi there. How many, uh, how many did you sell? I'm not going to tell you. He's a bad man who broke Sarah's leg. Hey, now, that was an accident, okay? You're a big scrud. What's a scrud? Why don't you look in the mirror, scrud? I don't have to. I can just look at you. All right, girls. And man. Let's see your final tallies. Oh, Debbie. 321 boxes of cookies. Very nice. Not nice enough. Sharla, 278. Sorry, dear, but still good. Good for a scrud. Oh, yes, Elizabeth. 
871. That's crap! <laughs> Sister Brownbird? Good going. Who's next? <clears throat> Hi there. Hi. And batting for Sarah, Ross Geller. 872. <laughs> Although it looks like you bought an awful lot of cookies yourself. <clears throat> that is because my doctor says that I have a very serious nougat <laughs> deficiency. Tell us what happened, Brown Bird Ross. <laughs> well, I lost. Some little girl loaned her uniform to her 19-year-old sister who went down to the USS Nimitz and sold over 2,000 boxes. All right, we have to pick captains. And then Tennille's. Okay, so how do we decide that? Well, why don't we just bunny up? What? 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 Bunny! Bunny! <laughs> okay, looks like Ross and I are captains. Okay, so um, I bunny first, so that means I get to pick first. Right. Joey? Thank you. Monica, I'm your best friend. Sweetie, don't worry, you'll get picked. Chandler. Ross. Phoebe. Sweetie, now I pick you. You don't pick me, you're stuck with me. Okay, all right, so let's see. Let's play from the uh, trash can to the light post, right? Two-hand touch, we'll kick off. Okay, all right, people, listen. I've got exactly 28 minutes before I have to baste again. Wow, just like in the pros. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Woo! All right, huddle up, right over here. Wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. Oh, cool, this is my first huddle. <laughs> okay, okay, so what do you guys really think of Chandler? <laughs> Phoebe, you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, Joey's going to catch it, and you and I are going to block. What's block? Phoebe, I thought you said you know what you were doing. I thought you meant in life. <laughs> Great. So he's just a nice guy. Do you really think this Mark doesn't want anything in exchange for helping you? Well, I assume I'll have to take showers with him. But, you know, that's true of any job. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. How are you feeling? Well... My apartment isn't there anymore because I drank it. Where'd you get to? We lost you after you opened up all the presents. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up in the storage room and not alone. Really? Uh, no woohooing. No woohooing. Why? What happened? Uh, I fooled around with Joey's sister. <gasps> well, that's not the worst part. What is the worst part? I can't remember which sister. <laughs> you see what men do? Don't tell me men are nice. This is men! Are you insane? I mean, Joey's gonna kill you. He's actually going to kill you dead. Okay, you don't think I thought of that? How can you not know which one? I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, was it Gina? Which one is Gina? The dark... Big hair with the airplane earrings. No, 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 that's not Gina, that's Dina. Dina. Oh. You see, you can't tell which is which either. <laughs> we didn't fool around with any of them. <laughs> Veronica, look, it's got to be Veronica, the girl in the red skirt. I definitely stuck my tongue down her throat. That was me. Look, when I've been drinking, sometimes I tend to get a little overly friendly, and I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. That's okay. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey, Joey. Come on. Why can't we talk in here? With witnesses. I just got off the phone with my sister. Uh, which, which one? Mary Angela. Mary Angela. Yeah. You no, know, which one is she again? Why don't you ask Chandler? Because he's the one who fooled around with her. She told me you said you could really fall for her. Now, is that true? Or are you just getting over Janice by groping my sister? 
It's got to be the first one. <laughs> really? That's great. <laughs> you and my sister sitting in a tree. <laughs> yep, I'm in a tree. Um, Chandler, Ross, this is Robert. Oh, oh hey. Hey, mm. hi. Here you have lipstick mm. right here. Oh. Huh. That's okay, it's mine. We just kissed. Oh. <laughs> so isn't it a bit cold out for shorts? Well, I'm from California. Right, right. Sometimes you guys just burst into flame. <laughs> I'm up. <clears throat> I'm up. I ain't gotten up now. Anybody uh, want anything? I'll have coffee. Yeah, me too. Yeah, make that three. Okay, Ross, why don't you come with me? What, what is the matter with you? What's going on? Robert's coming out. What, what do you mean? He, what, is he gay? Uh, he... He's coming out of his shorts. What? The man is showing brain. Are you sure? Hold on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. That was a coffee and a coffee. Okay. We could write it down for no, you. No, no, that won't be uh, won't be necessary. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we do? What do we do? Well, I suppose we just try to not look directly at it. Like an eclipse. Uh, Joey? Joey Tribbiani? <laughs> Listen, Joey, I got a problem. I just got a call from my dance captain. He's having a relationship crisis and can't get out of Long Island. So does that mean the audition's off? <laughs> Listen, Joey, seeing as you've got the most experience, I want you to take these dances and teach them the combination. What? Oh, Joey, come on, it's easy. You know, it's... Hand, hand, head, head, up, out of a ray, out of a ray, big turn here, round de jean, so soft, so slide, step, step, and jazz hands. It's a steppity step and jazz hands. Have fun. Bye. All right, let's do it. I know, it's the best I could get out of them. <laughs> well, people. People, people, people. Let's try it again. And this time, let's everybody watch Joey. <laughs> Show him how it's done. <laughs> Count it off, guy. You know what? Maybe we should get going. I mean, what time did Chloe say we should get there? About 10.30. What time is it now? 4.30. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we'll hang out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember when she brought up that thing about, you know, the three of us? Yes, vividly. <laughs> she was kidding about that, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I think so. Got to be weird if that situation presented itself tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, what, what will we do? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> she was kidding. Yeah. She was But you know what? Just in case, maybe we should come up with a set of ground rules. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Probably want the first one to be 
never open your eyes. You know? Because you don't want to be doing something and then look up right? and see something that you don't want to be seeing. Good call. Nice. Hold it. Hold it. What if my eyes are closed and and my hand is out there? Ah, okay, eyes open at all times. Oh, hey, how do we decide where we, <clears throat> you know, each would, <clears throat> you know, be? Right, right. Well, uh, you know, we could flip for it. Yeah, I guess. But, like, what's heads and what's tails? Well, if you don't know that, then I don't want to do this with you. Someone in there? No. This is just part of a daredevil game that I play called Wait Until the Last Moment Before I Burst and Die. Jeez, man, did you fall high? So, uh, did you? Did, did, did you fall high? Someone was in the ladies' room. I couldn't wait. I uh, left the lid up for you, though. <laughs> you know what? Uh, go, uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm talking to... Uh... This is the part where you'd say your name. Ginger. Ginger. I'm talking to Ginger, so... Don't you have to use the bathroom? Nope. Nope. I just, uh, I'd rather uh, talk to you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Someone in here. Where's Chandler? Uh, he can't make it. He said he had to go back to his uh, job and do... Uh, Whoa. Joey? Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Joey, I can see you, okay? You're hiding behind the coats. Close one. <laughs> okay, done. What's plat? That's help, spelled backwards so that the helicopters can read it from the air. Huh. What's doofus spelled backwards? <laughs> He is saving your butt. Uh, unless, of course, I'm stepping on some toes here, in which case I could just mosey on. I've got plenty of people to help on the interstate. Oh, no. Now it's not going to make any sense. You guys, what, what do we do about Ross? He drove all the way up here. What do we do? Just, like, send him back? Go skiing? Oh, this is horrible. It's just horrible. Hey, you guys think, you think we should ask Ross to come along? I know, but what about Rachel? I mean, how are we going to even ask her? Ask me what? Um, if, uh, it might be okay if Ross came skiing? I was not going to ask her. You guys are unbelievable. No, he cannot come. Excuse me? It's horrible. <laughs> oh, please. Can't I come to your special, magical cabin? Why would you even want to come, Ross? You're a horrible skier. Oh, oh, hitting me where it hurts, my ski skills. Here we go again. I, I can't handle this, guys. You know, I can handle it. Handle's my middle name. Actually, it's the, uh, the middle part of my first name. <laughs> All right, Phoebes. The cab's ready. All right, let's go. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you speaking to me or sleeping with someone else? We were on a break. Oh, you know, Ross, why don't you just put that on your answering machine? Hey, hey, it's valid, okay? And I'm not the only one who thinks so. Monica agrees with me. What? I don't know. That's what you said last night. What I said was, was that I understood. Joey is the one who agreed with you. Okay. Really, Joey? 
What? You know what? But there is, there is no right or wrong here. No, I think it's very obvious who's wrong here. Obviously not to Joey. What? Joey and Monica feel the anything. same you know, way that I do. Like, no, 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 no. Guess who I am? know that this is really really hard for you guys okay you don't all right you don't have to love each other okay you don't even you don't even have to like each other much right now but please you have to figure out a way to be around each other yeah and not put us in the middle yeah otherwise i mean that that's just that's it for us hanging out together you know is that what you want can you be civil yeah I can. Okay. Good. All right. Let's get back in the car because it's freezing and my chest is unsupported. Hi. Hi. You, uh, wanted to see me? Yeah. Uh, here's a box of your stuff. What? Uh, you know, it's just like hats and shirt and CDs, just sort of stuff that you've left here. What are you doing? Are you, are you trying to hurt me or something? No. Ross, it, it just seems that, you know, it's time we, you know, move on. I, th I mean, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really do. <laughs> hey. This was a gift. Ross, you got that for free from the museum gift shop. It's still a gift. I got it from the gift shop. Okay, all right. Give me the mug. I'll keep the mug. No. You know, you know, don't do me any favors. In fact, where... Where's the rest of my stuff? Huh? Like, like my, um... Hey! This book is mine! <laughs> And, and, and that t-shirt you sleep in, I'd like that back too. Yes, I do. You know how much I love that t-shirt. You never even wear that t-shirt. I'm just trying to help you move on. Oh, you are a petty man. You are a petty, 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 petty. small. Oh. You are so just doing this out of spite. Aww. No, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wear this all the time. I love this shirt. You have not worn that T-shirt since you were 15. It doesn't even fit you oh, anymore. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to take the rest of my stuff and relax in my favorite shirt. You have a pleasant evening. Well, uh, you know, I would have called, but uh, I lost your phone number, and then uh, my mom locked me out of the house, so uh, I couldn't find it. And uh, then I tried to find a, a pay phone, and uh, the receiver was cut off, so. What happened? Uh, oh, the uh, vandalism. But also, what happened between you and your mom? Well, we got in a fight, because uh, she said that I was too immature to get married. You're getting married? Oh, yeah. yeah. What? Oh, my God. My little brother's getting married. Yeah. Oh, I knew you'd be so cool about this. All right, uh, hey, do you want to meet her? Do I? Do you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Okay, cool, all right. She's just uh, parking the truck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get my, uh, my fiancé, man. <laughs> You know, I would have bet good money that he'd be the first one of us to get married. Yeah, isn't it fantastic? 
Yeah, uh, but Phoebe, don't you think he's a little young to get married? Well, he's 18. Exactly. It'll be illegal for him to drink at his own bachelor party. <laughs> yeah, or, or to get a hooker. <laughs> Always illegal, Joe. Hey, hey, this is uh, my fiance, Mrs. Knight. <laughs> You know, it's, it's funny, um, Frank's told me so much about you, but you're not how I pictured you at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big surprise. <laughs> so, um, uh, how did you guys meet? Well, um, I was in, uh, Mrs. Knight's, uh, oh, I mean, Alice, sorry, Alice. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> no, I, I was in her, uh, home at class. And he was my best student. Yeah, she was my best teacher. Oh. If that doesn't keep kids in school, what will? <laughs> and so now you guys are going to be married. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we talked about just living together, but um, we want to have kids right away. <laughs> God. Great. <laughs> wow, kids. Frank, are you sure you're ready for that? Um, how hard can it be? You know, I mean, you know, babies. You know, who doesn't want babies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you know, I never had a dad around. And uh, now, now I always will because, uh, you know, it'll be me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I mean, really, we do realize that there's an age difference between us. Oh, good, okay, because you were acting like you didn't. <laughs> oh, no, but when it comes to love, what does age matter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is the last time. With a chick chick here and a chick chick there. Here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick chick chicken. <laughs> Hey. Hey. How's she doing? She? Well, yeah. Don't, don't you think it's a she? I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell. Whatever it was went back in too quickly. Uh, anyway, I gotta go change. I'm uh, meeting some of the cast for drinks. Excuse me? What? I stayed home from work today while you were at rehearsal so somebody could be here with our chick. Hey, who was up from 2 o'clock this morning until 5 o'clock this morning trying to get her back to sleep? You don't think I get up when you get up? Oh, here it comes. Yes, here it comes. I'm stuck here all day. And then you come in and spend two seconds with us and then expect to go off gallivanting with your friends? Well, I don't think so, mister. Hey, I need to relax, okay? I was working all day. And you don't think taking care of our chick is work? <laughs> That's not what I said, okay? I just meant... I know what you meant! <laughs> you notice that ever since we got this chick, we've been fighting a lot more than we used to? I don't know, maybe we weren't ready to have a chick. <sighs> I'll take her back tomorrow. You think we'll get our three bucks back? Did he call? No, sorry. Why? Why? He said he'd call. Why hasn't he called? Maybe he's intimidated by really smart, strong, successful women. Sophie, will you please climb out of my butt? <laughs> And he called Rachel. Why? Okay, okay. Um, well, uh, maybe he maybe he feels awkward because you were my boss. Awkward? Why should he feel awkward? Well, the only person that should feel awkward is you, and you didn't tell him not to call me, did you? No. Because I... if you feel uncomfortable with your friend dating someone you work for, there are always ways to fix that. Uh, call her. Call her now. Multiple, so many paper cuts. Why hasn't he called, Rachel? Why? Why? I don't understand. Why? He said he'd call. Why? Why? Chandler, I'm telling you, she's flipped out. She's gone crazy. Oh. Well, give me the phone, then. Come on. This isn't funny. She thinks 
it's my fault that you haven't called her. You have to call her. Look, you can't call somebody after this long just to say, in case you didn't notice, I don't like you. <laughs> well, then you're going to have to take her out again. No, she's really dull, and she gets this gross mascara goop thing in the corner of her eye. <laughs> I don't care. You're going to have to take her out again and end it and end it in a way that she knows it's actually ended. And I don't care how hard it is for you. Do not tell her that you will call her again. All right, fine. But it's just a lunch date, no more than an hour. And from now on, I get my own dates. I don't want you setting me up with anybody ever again. That's fine. That's just a lot of big talk, you know. I know. <laughs> hey. 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 Look, everybody. Look at my new dollhouse. Wow. <laughs> Okay, it's a slide instead of stairs. Look. Oh. Very interesting, Phoebe. What's this? The licorice room. You can eat all the furniture. <laughs> and when guests come over, they can stay on the Tootsie Roll away bed. This is the coolest house ever. <laughs> hey, does anyone want to join me in the aroma room? Uh, I would. <laughs> Hey, guys, guys, did you see my new china cabinet? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> watch, watch. <gasps> and, and... Oh! Hey, my father's house does that. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I scared you in there. Oh, that's okay. By the way, I was just... Checking the shower massager. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Trying to reach you at work. There's been a fire. What? Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> what happened? Well, we believe it originated here. <laughs> in the aroma room. All right, did everyone get out okay? Well, the draft's okay, and so is the pirate. Oh. What is this? No, Phoebe, don't look. You don't want to see what's under there. <laughs> oh, the, the foster puppets! <laughs> what time is it? One. One. 7.15. Watch doesn't work. Tommy's supposed to be here soon. We're going to lunch. <laughs> look, look, I wasn't going to say anything to you, but... All right, I don't think you should be seeing Tommy anymore. You don't? No. The guy is mean. I mean, really mean. I think you should stay away from him. Hmm, or maybe I should stay away from all men. No, it's not just because I'm jealous. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not jealous, okay? It's, look, the guy, he screamed, he actually screamed at this couple sitting in our seats. Yeah, and at the end of the play, he... He got up, you know, and he just started, like, banging his hands together. Okay, fine, fine. You don't want to believe me? No, that's fine. We're don't Ross, don't believe Ross. Ross. Uh, no one believe me. I'm Mr. Funny to you. Mr. Funny. Whoa! Oh, sorry, Tommy. What's in the cup, Ross? Um, what is in the cup? Okay, it's coffee. Ice coffee? Tell me it's ice coffee. It's hot. Hot coffee! You idiot! You're gonna spill hot coffee all over me, huh? What are you, just a big, dumb, stupid, doofy idiot with a doofy idiot hairdo? Huh? Huh? What's your favorite thing about the summertime? Mm, going to the beach when it stays light real late. Yeah. Hey! Tommy! What's your favorite thing about summer? Ooh, I don't know. Probably the uh, smell of freshly cut grass. Oh, that's mm. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is the den. All right, check this out. Lights. Whoa. All right, less lights. No, bad lights. Lights go away. Oh, see, you just need to find the right command. Yes, and the dimmer switch. <laughs> Whoa. For rich guys, that's a pretty small TV. No, 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 that's the video phone. 
But hey, guys, you're not supposed to be here, so please do not touch anything. I, Kia, this is comfortable. This place is amazing. Oh, God, that is the nicest kitchen. I know. No, no, but it's the nicest kitchen. The refrigerator told me to have a great day. Look at this, a millionaire's checkbook. Joey, put that down. Oh, my God, that's Pete. Okay, get out! How the hell do you answer a video phone? Monica? I guess that's how. Hey, Monica, how's it going? Oh, um, it's good. It's, it's, um... It's good. Just here watering the plants. Well, don't forget that ficus over there by Rachel. Uh, Chandler's on the couch. Yeah, I see him. You guys are just the worst hiders ever. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete. Hi, uh, Pete, um, the other day when you said you needed to talk, um, just so I know, is it good news or bad news? Oh, it's good news. No, it's definitely good news. Hold on a second. I have another call. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no, it's, it's still me. Uh, no, it's not. I've got picture in picture here. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to call you back later. Monica, you, I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh, oh, okay, um, so I'll see you soon. Okay, I love you. I love you. Love, love you, love you, love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, well, it's good news. It's good news. So what do you think the good news is? Oh. Wow, look at this. He wrote a check for $50,000 to Hugo Lindgren's ring design. Oh, sorry. Uh, what do you think the good news is? Oh, my. Monica's gonna marry a billionaire! <laughs> you gotta get Mom on the phone. Call Mom. Call Mom. Hello? And that's Pete's Mom. <laughs> Bored and bored. Hey, you know what naked card game's never boring? No! So what's Phoebe like? I'm kind, caring, and sweet. What's Monica like? <laughs> uh, no, the other Phoebe, the one you went to go see. Oh, I think she knows where my dad is. What? Cool. Really? Well, where is he? She was actually, she was pretending like she hasn't heard from him in years, but I found this picture on her fridge. And look, isn't this what he would look like now? <gasps> totally familiar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, why would she lie to you? I don't know, but we're having dinner tomorrow night, so I figured she's going to tell me then. You know, maybe she just wanted to give him time to buy me presents. I don't know. <laughs> So, you're all bored? Oh, oh yes. Um, all right. I'm going to close my eyes and point to someone, and you, whoever I point to has to come up with something fun for us to do, and we have to do it. Okay. All right. Fan okay. out. Fan out. Okay. Oh, you know, we could just do this. Okay. Um, we all have to play strip poker? Oh, yes! Strip happy days game? Well, I couldn't find any cards, so it was either this or a stripped bag of old knitting stuff. Okay. Fonzie gives you two thumbs up. Collect two cool points. Yeah. 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 Well, if you get five cool points, you get to make someone take off one item of clothing. It hasn't happened yet, but we're all very excited. Okay, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of electromagnetic microscopes for the prehistoric forensics department. Okay, take Pinky Tuscadero up to Inspiration Point, collect three cool points, yeah! Which gives me five, and let's see who is going to lose their clothes. Um, I think I pick our strip poker sponsor, Mr. Joey Tribbiani. All right, relax, it's just a shoe. Oh. Okay, your band is playing at Arnold's, collect three cool points. Which means I have five, and that means I get Joey's boxers. Fine. Gang up on me. I got you all right where I want you. Come on, take them off. Actually, you know, it's kind of cold, so how about I keep my boxers on and give you all a peek at the good stuff? <laughs> all right. 